All right, today we're going to be installing a grill on a 2011 to 2013 Chevy 2500 3500. Today's grill has got some big options. It's got a 40 inch curved LED light bar, which we pulled the face off of it, powder coated it orange. They opted for orange mesh and low pro spikes. All right, tools you're going to need today 10 millimeter to pull the factory grill off, channel lock pliers. If you do the light bar option, you're going to need a sawzall or a cutting wheel, 7 16 wrench, 7 16 socket, little ratchet, air ratchet if you choose, supplied hardware packet. All right, first step, normally the uh, trucks have a dust cover on them with uh, push clips in there. You just use a screwdriver, pry those out, pop it off, pull the dust cover off. Next step, we're going to pull these 10 millimeter bolts out. There's four of them. After that, there's six little pinch clips inside and the whole grill removes. Okay, you take your channel locks, bottom on the back side of the clip, and do that with all six. Okay. All right, if you bought the uh, grill with the LED light bar in it, you're gonna have to cut these two ears off for relief to fit the light bar. So we just drew a couple lines here. We're just gonna whack those off. You can use cutting disc, hacksaw, whatever. Okay, it's not completely necessary, but you can take a little sander now clean up your cuts um, they're pretty clean as they are but how you cut it may not end up with that so throw a little sand on it and then we'll hit it with a little bit of paint all right we're just going to take some uh, flat black spray paint hit some of this hit some of the silver stuff that way when the grill shows goes in it uh, you don't see a bunch of background noise All right, last step before we put the grill in, your hood release lever here. We just want to pull this clip out. And just let that sag right there. Okay, now we're gonna put the grill in. Take your top four bolts and just start them by hand to hold the grill in place. All right, next we're gonna take the supplied hardware. There's four brackets along the bottom of the grill. You just put the washers on, nuts on all through. We'll get the, everything lined up and snug it all tight. All right, last step uh, before we tighten everything up, just make sure the grill's centered in between the two headlights and uh, your height, you don't want it. You can go a little bit below the headlights or up to the headlights, uh, nothing above them. All right, now that we have the bottom all cinched up, just tighten your top four bolts. All right, now that the grill's all in, uh, last step, you would put your dust cover on. This customer doesn't have one, but you just slap it on top, push in all your push clips, and then it's a uh, done deal. Okay, now for wiring the light bar. So this customer wants to wire their own. Um, it comes with a lead right off the back. It's just two wires. Uh, we do sell a wiring harness kit for them, which comes with instructions on how to wire the light bar into your vehicle. And you can choose to uh, route it how you choose per vehicle. Other than that, good to go. Okay, she's all done. Mm -hmm.